During Hurricane Florence, specially trained teams from across the country and our area sent crews to the most affected areas to help. Last week, we introduced you to a team from Cary. Today was their first day back on the job after that mission. CBS 17's Amy Cutler is at Cary Fire Station 2 with more on their return. Amy, how are they doing? Well, Marius, they are tired, but of course, glad to be home. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into this training, and so they say they're glad when they can use it to help others. In areas that I would have never even realized a river was near were underwater. Captain Chad Thomason with Cary Fire Department's Rescue 2 spent six days away from home. He led a team of 11 rescuing people from the floodwaters during Florence. People who were trapped in their houses, trapped in cars, washed off the roads. In all, he says they helped 11 adults, one child, and nine pets. Mary Browning was one of them. There's been like three generations raised in this house. But see, we're trying to salvage what we can, but this is, it was up to here and here. When you walk in, you can be like, whoa, it's overwhelming me. I first introduced you to Browning Thursday. She's lived in this Brinkley Drive home her whole life. It didn't flood during Matthew, so she thought she could ride Florence out here as well. She was wrong. They did come and get me and my two dogs. Yes, ma'am, they did. We tell them what we know. We tell them what we've seen. And a lot of times, once they station that, we're there to help them, that we wouldn't be there if things were going to be okay. They typically decide that it's the best thing for them to, to go with us. Thomason says while they wait for people to pack up, they try to get valuable items like photos to a safer, higher place. That's what they did for Browning. We can't do anything about the water, but we try our best to do what we can for the content inside the house that, that will mean something to that person. And it certainly did to Browning. Keep in mind, these first responders leave their own homes and families, and they tell me it is just part of the job. Live and Carrie, I'm Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.